In this video, I'm going to show you 12 sexy men's fragrances that leave a huge, enormous scent trail when you wear them and walk around even after you've left the building. And this video starts right now. This is called Narciso Rodriguez for him from 2007. The bottle weighs over a pound. You can hold it from the cap. It doesn't move. Crazy, really tight cap fitting. This is made by Kirk Dijon. If you do not know who Kirk Dijon is, he's the famous perfumer who made Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail and Baccarat Rouge 540. For example, those are two Hall of Fame fragrances. This is a very minimalistic fragrance, but very powerful. And powerful, I mean, it's got a huge scent trail that's intoxicating and sexy, which is the title of this video sexy fragrances that leave an intoxicating scent trail. A scent trail is also called sillage. It's a French word spelled S-I-L-L-A-G-E. And sometimes people pronounce it sillage like I used to two years ago. This thing opens up dark and mysterious it's with four or five ingredients in it. You've got velvet, musk, patchouli, and some other pink peppercorns. When you spray it, the opening is kind of dark and musky and kind of depressing. It makes you feel like you can definitely smell the wet, soil, earthy, musky patchouli that's kind of sweet. It also has, right here I can smell nuances of leather in it mixed with the musk very well. Narcisco Rodriguez likes to put emphasis on musk the scent trail that it leaves. When you leave a room, it will linger. This is what this video is about. Scent trails. And what's the difference between scent trail and projection? Some fragrances project like beasts. Some fragrances leave a lingering scent trail. There's a slight, a big difference. Some fragrances last a very long time, and some fragrances leave a huge scent trail but last a short time. So there's all kinds of variations. And again, projection is how far it shoots out, what kind of scent bubble is around you when you're walking around with said fragrance on. And again, scent trail is when you leave the room. Maybe you took your coat off, put it on a coat hanger like I did at the doctor's office and left the room, left the doctor's office. The next time I come in, they say, we could smell you, Mr. O. After you left the office, your scent trail was still there. We knew you were here. Have you ever heard that happen? That's the theme of this video. And this is Narciso Rodriguez, one of the best for leaving an intoxicating scent trail. The way a fragrance diffuses itself can also be reactive due to its surroundings. Whether it's room temperature, room air conditioning, or hot outside, the chemicals and fragrances react differently. That's why there's certain fragrances that are made to wear in the cold weather and certain fragrances that have huge scent trails depending on what the surrounding is. Like this one is called His Highness White. This is made in Dubai by Afnon. It opens up with pink pepper and saffron, which is like a fruity, spicy opening. And then it has softer notes in the middle. And so when I, the middle notes are like florals and geraniums. So when I first tried it, I was like, no, well, this is a nice smelling, long lasting, strong fragrance. And the scent trail was enormous as well as the projection and the longevity. But when you first smell it, you're like, this is just a pleasant, spicy, beautiful white fragrance called His Highness White. And I can tell you that it's nuclear. And another thing, Afnon has authorized me to offer it to you. It's $80 on every website you look at, $70, $80, even on my website. But you can get two bottles for $95. The Afnon executives want me to offer it to you. The link is down below at this website right here. Two bottles for $95. You'll be getting this white one and the green one. The next fragrance that has a great scent trail. One Million by Paco Rabanne, one of the most timeless fragrances for catching attention. And it's got the most intense scent trail ever made. It's got notes of cinnamon and woods and orange, but it's not a regular orange. It's like a blood orange with red flesh. You know those blood oranges? It gives the citrus note a little bit more depth. Ultimately, you're left with a warm, inviting, slight, sugary, spiced wood scent, but the scent trail lingered. That's called Paco Rabanne 1 million. This is a 6.8 ounce bottle. It's the best value that you can get. 
Coming up, I've got a really cool fragrance by Yves Saint Laurent called M7 Oud Absolute, and I've got some information to tell you about it, and some other titles from Dior and Armani. So stay tuned for that. At the end of the video, I'm gonna mention to you some Hall of Fame fragrances that are a, a lot more affordable as well that leave an intoxicating central, but didn't make this top 12 list. As this list continues, we're starting back out with, hi, if you're new here, my name is Christian Noah on this channel. We help you smell better for less, teach you all things about fragrances, and simply talk all about fragrances. If you're old here, welcome back. Please click on playlist. We're updating it daily. You can binge watch three or four cool videos of your favorite title. What's the question of the day? The question of the day is what fragrance have you ever worn in experience that you sprayed on? You left the room and they said, wow, I could still smell you, Jerry, or whatever your name is. And that's called Intoxicating Centril, also known as a Siage. S-I-L-L-A-G-E. M7. This came out in 2005. Highly rare and very hard to find. I bought this one off eBay from a friend of mine, actually. The link is down below. It's a trusted seller. She might have one or two bottles left. This is the second formulation, 2005. Why am I talking about this? Because this fragrance is still available. It's called Yves Saint Laurent M7 Oud Absolute with Mandarin Bois de Oud Patchouli and Mir, M-Y-R-R-H. So what you're left with with this is a hard chord projection. It projects hard core. That means wherever you go, you've got a huge scent bubble. And not only that, it leaves an intoxicating scent trail, a sillage. So wherever you go, it's both. And it's also both beast mode longevity, either one of these. And the thing about this is they're almost identical in scent. This one is slightly different. It's very hard to explain the differences in it. It's kind of like explaining the differences in the old batch of La Nuit de Loma with the new batch. I mean, they're both La Nuit de Loma. Same with this. If I were you, I would grab an M7 because I've noticed there are very few and hard to find websites to have them. They still do have them, 50 to $80, but I think they're gonna fall off market just like Reeve Gauche did another Yves Saint Laurent. Lots of Yves Saint Laurent fragrances fall off market. These are, this is a Hall of Fame classic. Next up, the huge Central from Armani Code Absolute. It's a newer fragrance. If you're familiar with the old school Armani Code, and then they have an Armani Code Profumo, which is Wow, projection beast monster. Then they have this one called Armani Code Absolute, kind of toned down. And I can tell you, I used to hang out at a mall to check out fragrances and wear fragrances, see what kind of reactions I'd get. And I, I had this on the first couple of days I got it. And I said to myself, oh, I know I'm gonna get a compliment. I'm walking by. When I walked by several other vendors, they said, hey, Chris, you know, What's that you're wearing today? As I'm walking by, maybe I'm going to get lunch, maybe I'm going to the bathroom or something. They didn't talk, they didn't compliment me when I was up close and personal, only when I walked by. That means that this thing leaves an intense scent trail. It's Tonka Bean Vanilla. I love it in the ending of this fragrance. It's just a great, nice, long lasting fragrance as well. It's a beast mode fragrance, Armani Code Absolute. Next up, Maison Francis Court Dijon. Baccarat Rouge 540. That means 540 in French. This is a saffron jasmine. Sweet saffron, kind of like a cotton candy scent. And what is this? This is like a $300 for a small bottle, $540 for a bigger bottle like this, or you can buy a similar scent cheaper. Believe it or not, Ariana Grande makes this one called Cloud. It's about 40, 50, 60 dollars. Depends where you buy it. And it smells like it. Here's the difference. When you spray this on and smell it, you smell something, but you don't smell this cotton candy vibe. It comes out later. When you're walking around, you catch whiffs of it. That's that intoxicating central. When you spray this Ariana Grande, you smell that right away, and you can smell that vibe that this puts out, but it's on your hand. That's the difference between $60 and $600. And another fragrance that works just as good as this in the same manner, but it's a lot cheaper, this is called Forever Absolute by Reefs. I found this special offer for $25, but you had to buy two bottles. It's under $40. The link's down below. It's a special offer for you guys here on this video only. And then you might say, hey, Mr. O, I don't like spending $400 on a fragrance. And Mr. O, I don't like cheap fragrances either that even cost $40. Is there anything in the middle that smells like this? 
And I will say to you, yes. Next one on the list called Mansara Instant Crush from 2019. This thing is a fruity, spicy, fresh fragrance made for both men and women all ages. Mansara Instant Crush is elegant. It is long lasting. This thing has all the corners fixed up. You get the central projection sillage. You get long lasting beast mode and you get super duper projection all in one. It's a similar scent in the opening to this. It's not the same thing. It's similar-ish to it. There are lots of debates on blogs about is this a, their version of that. But you do have the saffron, the ginger, two kinds of oranges from the coasts of Italy, which means they use high quality ingredients. The bottle, the last time I checked, was $190 to $200 for this, or you can buy decants of it, obviously. This thing is the way to go if you want to smell awesome, perfect for hot weather. Mansara Instant Crush is an eau de parfum. Look at that bottle, it's gold. The sprayer comes out really good too. Okay, you've made it three-fourths the way of the video. We got the top four left. This video was presented from good to great. And I'm gonna show you some fragrances right now that you can think about where do you go where you're walking around a lot. Uh, these fragrances will produce magic. Starting with Hall of Fame, Creed Aventus. How do you know? This is a beautiful citrus pineapple, woody type fragrance. Walking around in maybe a convention, walking around maybe in a mall, walking around down the hallway of your office, walking anywhere, as you walk, you get noticed. Walking down the grocery aisles, the cereal aisle, every single time as I'm walking, it's like when you go fishing and you use one of those baits you gotta reel in, this is what it does. When you're walking, the scent trail is huge and it's alluring and people, the, the, the compliments on this are like huge bites. Like it's just, um, I can't even describe it. It's called Creed Aventus. It's $400 to $500 for these bottles. This is a four ounce bottle. I saw it at Nordstrom's for $525. And recently this website right here has some for about $375, $400. For the four ounce bottles, they quit making them in 2017 or 2018. Just so you know, they're hard to find and there's a lot of four ounce snobs there. And if you want to smell like this and have the same effect for a little bit cheaper. This is called Patron de Nuit. It's a niche version clone of this. It's made by Essenza. Essenza is like a high-end store, like similar to Sephora, but in the South Africa. It's called Are You Serious? It's like a budget version of Creed Aventus, and it does give you four hours, and the intoxicating central is for sure there. You get the whiffs of it four and five hours later still after you apply it, so it does that very well. It's called Are You Serious? The link's down below. It's about $30, $35. Next one on the list is Dior. Now, what we're gonna talk about is Dior Eau de Toilette. That thing is a beast mode for everything except for the central. It's beast mode for projection, it's beast mode for compliments, and it just lasts long. Then you have the Eau de Parfum. This does a very good job. It sits closer to your skin, doesn't project as wild as the other one, but it does give you a very, very good central. But my favorite one is Parfum, Dior Sauvage Parfum. I don't know, people are hating on this. I don't know what they're not talking about it, but this is a fabulous fragrance. A little bit more modern, no no bite. If you've ever smelled Dior Sauvage, it has a bite, right? When you smell it, kind of a spicy bite that might turn you off. Also, when, if you were to, when I've also smelled this fragrance to females, right on paper, and I go, hey, do you like this? They always say no, but when you're walking by them, that scent trail hits them, they always say, oh my God, what are you wearing? I want my husband to wear it. A lot of these fragrances are even not meant to be smelt up close. They're meant to be experienced while walking, and Parfum is one of them. Solid fragrance, I'm telling you. Next up is like, totally modern, youthful fragrance that started out in 1996, but again by Kirk Dijon. He invented Le Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier, but this is called Ultra Male. This is ultra long lasting, amped up version, almost like the 1995 Jean-Paul Gaultier version. Creamier, delicious, vanilla and pear. It's like a citrus scent. That lasts super long time and gets you compliments out of the water, like all around you, like bees and honey. 
And don't forget, I'm going to tell you about five more fragrances right after this final number 12 fragrance that also you can get that give you a nice central and they're very affordable coming up in 30 seconds. This is called Le Mail Ultra. If you want to smell like this is like $90, $80. A similar scent cheaper I found is called 9 p.m. This has got similar notes to it plus added dark chocolate and vanilla and it's said to be 98% the same as this. Number 12 fragrance. You can't go wrong with this. It's a Hall of Fame fragrance. It's called La Nuit de Loma by Yves Saint Laurent. But a lot of people say because it says La Nuit that means night in French that they only wear it for night. But yeah, it's great for date night. It's great for all occasions. It's great for blind buy. It gets you massive, massive compliments because this thing has an intense scent trail. Remember that these are hardcore fragrances on this list that make the scent trail. When you walk and move around, the trail comes out and this is a beast mode scent trail. Plus it lasts a long time. People are complaining about reformulation. Bottom line is this fragrance smells good. These are really great fragrances that give you another intoxicating scent trail. We're going to start with Cartier Santos de Cartier. That's about a $30 fragrance all over the internet. The next one is called Joop. Some people call it Joop. It's uh, simply a classic fragrance from the 90s. That gives you a creamy scent similar to Creed Santal. But this thing here gives you a great scent trail and longevity. The next one is called Christian Dior Fahrenheit, a lovely fragrance with citruses and lavender and a beautiful scent trail, about $60, $70. Another one is by Guerlain, it's called Habit Rouge. It's more of a barbershop old time classic fragrance. And if you've got about three or $400 lying around, get this Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Tobacco Vanille is a beautiful tobacco and vanilla fragrance, enormous everything on this one too all scores of 10 and hey did you know that youtube is trying to get you to watch this video right here are you gonna do it why not watch this video i'm suggesting pick one of these coming up next are great selections either one of these thank you subscribe thank you subscribe